hello, this is Animal Crossing 102, and I'm here to do, um, a basic, um, Animal Crossing Wild World gameplay tour to show you, like, what this game has to offer in case you would like to purchase it. So, yeah, here we go. This is the Nintendo 3DS, by the way. It's the Aqua Blue. And I'm going to actually turn this up so you guys can hear it. So this game's called Animal Crossing Wild World. This is a Nintendo DS version of Animal Crossing. It always says, hello there, you came to play, did you? And then you can click continue. But when you first start, you click new resident. And then tag mode is really weird. I don't know how to explain that. Other things is like changing the date and time. Oh wait, no, it's not. If you click other things, you, are re you rebuild town, which is erasing your whole town and starting over. Erasing a resident, which is kicking, like, one of your people off in your game. Immigration, which is moving people, like, moving a person from one game card to another. And Wi-Fi settings, I think that's to change your friend code or something like that. Or you hit never mind. And it says, let's try one more time. And if you already have this game, you click continue. And it brings you to this screen. And there is always four different spots for people. There's a spot for player number one, player number two, player number three, and player number four. Obviously, I don't have a fourth player. I only have three players, but that's okay. So, sorry, I'm going to get my um, stylus here for a second. Oops. My, okay, there we go. Okay. This is my 3DS stylus. So, I'm going to go on Miley because she's my main account. If you were to click on the phone, you get to change time and different, like, little game settings, like, stuff like that. That's the name of my town, and that means it's saving. That little thing, that little twirling circle always means it's saving. If you click this button, this is how you get to your main menu. And that's your money. That's my wallet right there. And um, hold 15 items and 10 letters. There's your mailbox. This is the biggest um, Animal Crossing Wild World house you can have. So, um, I'm going to start the town gate. Okay. Okay. Here's the town gate. This is where you basically start, like, that's your main base, sort of, kind of. So in order, to, this is your pockets. It tells you like what town your what your town name is, and then your character's name, and then that's your character right there. And it has your wallet. You get to carry 15 items and 10 letters, and you can fill the 10 letters up with 10 items. So technically, you can carry 25 items. This is your um patterns tile. You can wear things as a hat, a uh, shirt. Um, uh, umbrella, or you could put a tile on the ground, and you basically drag it, and then it puts it on the ground, like that. Now I'm actually going to pick that up. You just click on it, and it'll pick itself up. And then when you're inside the house, you can also put it up as a painting, as a floor, or as a wall. But since I'm not in the house, I can't do that right now. And you can hold up to eight designs in your pocket. This is your fish area. If you were to click on a fish, you wanted to know some information about it. It gives you a picture. 
the name of the fish, um, the size and the habitat and season it comes out in. It gives you some random fact. And sometimes it goes to a third page. And it's one long line. And the ones that have question marks are fish that you have not caught yet. But when they're yellow like that, that means you've caught one. And you're able to click on it and look at it whenever you want. So those are all the fish I've caught. And then there's the same thing for the bugs. A little line. So yeah. Next up is your um your little typing button. You get to type on the keyboard to um type to your friends. So you type and then you click this to send and it goes up here and that's what you say. And the people who talk to you it comes up here. And then this is where you keep your emotions. So, I have glee. I think that's glee. Sad or something like that. That one right there is actually a hacked emotion that I got from Action Replay. It's like the fainting one. And then the other one I have is irritation. Or anger. And then the next one's your map. And it shows your town and everything about it. This is LA Town Map right there. Well, that's what mine says, but whatever your town is in the town map. And then it has your your people's names in your house. And then it has all of your um neighbors' names. And then this is your friend roster. These are all of the, um, people that you've, like, you know, friend, like, played with online. And you have four pages for people. And then this little key page has your friend code and your, um, town name. And then this thing says, like, what friends are in your town right now at that time. And then you click that. To register a friend code and you click use code or never mind so that's how that works and I made this town flag it's really cool so when here's the town gate Right there is Booker. And you can ask him what's going on in town right now. If there's anything lost, you can change the town flag, like outside the thing that we just saw. And this, where am I, tells you, like, about this area. And since this is, like, a tour, I'm going to click it. Lost items. That's all that. 
And then over here for Booker. I mean, Copper. You can um, go out to someone else's town, invite guests to come to your town. You can get a friend code here. Where am I? So that's everything there. Oh gosh. Man's losing feeling. So, yeah, sorry about that. This is my town hall. Inside the town hall, you can do several things. You can get the recycling. See, there's nothing in here, but if you need to, like, um, recycle stuff, you can just stick it in there and then close it. And then, like, it's like, oh, okay. I'm lucky to see. But, like, if you click on it and, um... You go on a certain day, and you see something that a neighbor put in there. You could take it. Oops. You can take it and put it in your pockets and sell it to Tom Nook for some money. I'll show you Tom Nook in a second. Oh, wait. No. No. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I forgot. Um, I forgot to show you the rest of the town hall. That was kind of silly of me, but I did. So over here, this is the post office part of the town hall. You can mail a letter to a friend, access your bank account, you can save a letter, like if you um, find a letter that you really like that someone sent to you, you can sell them, I mean sell them, <laughs> save them here so that you can look back on them and remember the nice letters that someone sent you. And then it'll save it for you. If I have to hit access account, it'll mean a savings account. And you can save bells or withdraw bells. So yeah. Phyllis is really grumpy. She's the nighttime person. But um Pelly is the um daytime person and she's much nicer. Now over here, this is the Civic Center. Here, you can check the environment to see what you need to do to make your town nicer and to get better feedback. The town tune is something that you can do to um, make your town music sound nice. You can donate to um, Boondocks and get a feather. Depending on how much you donate, you'll get a certain color feather. Or you can move to a different game card. So yeah, that is the end for part one on Animal Crossing Wild World. Here's my pretty sky. Thank you for watching, and I will show you part two of, um the town and how everything works. Bye.